My dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, I wish to commend our Episcopal Commission on Family and Life for taking the lead in organizing this second online national conference for grandparents and elderly in partnership with the COSE or the Coalition of Services for the Elderly Incorporated and the CFM, Christian Family Movement. I am happy to note that most parishes have already started to get used to celebrating Grandparents' Day on this day of the feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, Grandparents of Jesus. It is obvious to me that the theme for this conference, In Old Age, They Will Still Bear Fruit, is inspired by Psalm 92, the psalm that describes the elderly flourishing like the palm tree and growing like a Lebanon cedar, still bearing fruit in old age, still full of sap, and still green. In most modern societies, where fruitfulness is gauged in terms mainly of material productivity, only the young will tend to be considered as assets, and the elderly will tend to be treated as liabilities. And yet, we know very well that in most Asian cultures, we value the guidance and wisdom of the elderly, and whenever we can, we prefer to keep them as part of our regular family homes rather than entrust them to the care of institutions or homes for the elderly. Why? Because even in their old age, they continue to be, to contribute significantly to the welfare of our families both materially and spiritually. In the Filipino culture, we have even invented a word for the ministry entrusted to the elderly as apostolate, meaning the care that lolos and lolas extend to their apo, to their apos, which is very important, especially in terms of their contribution to the nurturing of the physical, intellectual, cultural and spiritual upbringing of their grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I am happy to note that this conference will also feature reflections on the importance of grandparents and elders in inculcating the Christian faith and their role in the family and society. If there is one thing most young parents are thankful for, it is usually the generosity of their elderly parents in sharing of their time, energy, and finances, especially when these young parents are not yet financially stable. In many instances, grandparents even go to the extent of spending their own retirement money in order to help their children and grandchildren get by. Since the young parents tend to be preoccupied with earning a living, it is often the grandparents who will tend to be more available and more present to accompany their grandchildren in their tender growing up years. In more ways than one, grandparents are actually part of the system of social security of most Filipino families. Often, they are the ones who end up with very meager resources in their moments of sickness and old age. And when such challenging times come and their children and grandchildren will be there for them, it can only mean that the family genuinely is genuinely anchored on Christian values. I do hope and pray that this online conference will also be able to build a mutual support system among elderly people, especially for those who may not have had the good fortune of growing old in the company of loving and caring families. I wish also to commend Archbishop Gilbert Garcera for founding the Catholic Grandparents Association of the Philippines. I wish you all a truly meaningful online conference in the next three days. This is Bishop Pablo Virgilio David, Bishop of the Diocese of Caloocan and President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines.